Hello, my name is Professor John Benjamin. This is West Virginia Wesleyan College. This is Game Design. And this is uh, the third part in our series in, of creating our first game. And so uh, you should have already created your world and set up some obstacles. And now we're going to have some of those obstacles apply damage to our character. All right, so I've got two kinds of obstacles, if you will, or enemies um, that I'm going to be working with. And you should have created something somewhat similar. And one is this pit of acid here, or this boiling oil, I guess, is probably more appropriate. So, And then over here I have the sliding doors, and they'll apply damage. I'm going to have them electrified, so if you run into them or get smushed by them, you'll, get, you'll receive damage. All right, so there are three things that we need to do. Um, for these doors, they already have their own blueprint in class. So we're going to apply, have the damage applied inside there. That's where we'll work the nodes for that one. But here we have just a plane. And so in this case, what we're going to use is a pain-causing volume. And so we'll um, add some damage-causing coding to that. Um, but on that one, because it doesn't have its own blueprint class, we'll do it on the, as a level blueprint. And then uh, we need to connect our character so we can receive damage from these enemies. All right, so let's begin. So the first one we'll work with is here. Let's work with the, um, the pain-causing volume. So the very first thing I want to point out, though, is if I hit play right now and I walk up here, I'll walk on top of the plane. And so this is like a liquid. And so the easiest thing to do for this is to simply select the plane and then just go down to Collisions here in your Details panel. And instead of Block All, we want to say Overlap All. And let's go ahead and say Generate overlap events. All right, so that way when we play and you come in here, you can you're in you're like in the acid, so you sink down in. Okay. All right, so now we need to add a pain causing volume so that when we go in there, we start it starts to hurt. So you go to your volumes in your place actors panel here and we're going to look for pain causing volume. So just drag that out on the screen. And right now it's a cube. And we wanted to cover this whole area here. So essentially, we want it to be the same dimensions as our plane. So let's click on our plane. And it is uh, roughly 10 by 10. So let's go back to our um, pain causing volume. Got to give it a better name. I called my plane acid. Really, it's boiling oil, but acid's fine. And I'm, let's call it, give this name, pain causing volume. And I'll say acid, acid pain causing volume. Okay, and then they're alphabetically next to each other. Five by five. Oh, okay, that looks a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little better. But now you see it's so high up, I want it to be right level with the plane. Because otherwise, if I just walk into this, I'll, I'll hit get damage, and that won't make any sense. That'll be confusing for the player. So now let's make sure that they're totally even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change from perspective to right. And then I can click on my acid, and it's right here on this level. Um, and I could go ahead and line them up specifically, but I'm just going to eyeball it because I can see that line there, and it's going to snap. All right, so they're both perfectly lined up with each other. All right, excellent. Let's go back to perspective. All right, so there I have my acid pain causing volume, but I need to add some blueprints. So for this, because the pain causing volume does not have a class blueprint, um, I'm going to add it to the level. And this is going to be handy because I'm going to do this in my other asset pit. So I'm going to go to say Blueprints and Open Level Blueprints. All right, so here, so the first thing that you have to make sure is that you have the pain causing volume selected before you go into the level blueprints. Okay, so we have it selected, and we're going to say, we're going to right-click and create an On Actor Begin Overlap. There we are. Okay. And notice, because we had it selected, it says acid pain causing volume. So there we're all set. And now we'll have to do we'll have to cast it to our to our actor. So we're gonna say cast two, and you should have a third person character. You might have a first person I'm working with third, um, third person character. Alright, and then we want to destroy or pardon me. I want to destroy and apply damage. There we are. So this is for the acid, and we have to think about how much damage we want. So um, I'm going to say 25. That seems reasonable if you're walking into acid. 
All right, so connect the other actor to the object and the your third person character to the damage or the damage actor. Okay, and that's all we need to do for that. So you can hit compile and save and close that up. All right, so now let's come over to our um, sliding door here. And remember, now we have a blueprint for the sliding door. So I'm just going to double click on the blueprint. Come right into the event graph. And, and this is similar to what we had done in an earlier exercise. So we're going to make an event hit. Okay, and then we're going to apply damage. Okay. And again, if you hit a big electric door that's got spikes, I'm going to say 25, 25 damage. All right, and then we need a, or a break hit, break hit result. There we are. And that should be all we need to do here for this character, for this actor. So compile and save. All right, and the last thing we need to do is now connect our actor so we can receive damage from these enemies. All right, so go ahead and find your character here. Uh, I named mine my character. You could, yours might still be third person character. And then to get to the blueprint for your character, you just click on this little underline type. All right, and that takes you into your event graph. All right, so we've got quite a few nodes here that we've got to work on. So we're gonna say uh, event, uh, any damage. So we're gonna kind of keep it simple. Basically any damage that's applied to this character. And um, then we're going to have to create a variable. We need a health variable, so we need to know how much health. So you can call it health, and let's make it a float. Okay, and now what we need to do as with this health variable is we need to create a default setting um, to determine how much health we want our character to have. Let's go ahead and select, select health and hit compile. And then over here in your details panel, you should have a default value. That's zero, so make sure you enter... So I'm going to give my character 100 health, and that way, you know, minus 25 seems, seems appropriate. Okay, all right, so now let's go ahead and we're going to, much like we've done in our earlier exercises, we're going to do a do once. Essentially, we want to hit the wall, and we don't want it to keep um, killing us. And so we're going to hit the wall once, we'll receive damage. Maybe hit it again, you receive damage. Now, when you're in the acid... I mean, we probably could set up a better system, but we're going to keep it simple for this game. And so if you go into the acid, you, you lose 25, and then if you go out and come back in. All right, so let's get a health variable. Let's drag in here. Let's get a health to start off. And let's drag that out and get a um, float, minus float, right here. All right, and then let's get another health, but this time let's get a set health. So, and then we're... Going to do the do once to the set health, and then we're going to connect our float minus float to the amount of health there. And then here's the damage to the float minus float. Okay, and then we're going to ask for a float less than equal to float, and then that here. And then we're going to create a branch because we want to have two results, or one of two results. So if it's less than equal to zero, the health, then if that's true, we are going to destroy the actor. Destroy. Oh, there's a destroy actor. Great. And if it's false, we just want to do a print string and it tells us how much we've lost. And then we want that delay. So that way it doesn't it kind of there's there's a, there's a pause so you're not getting a whole bunch of damage uh, as soon as you touch it. So let's look for a delay. There it is. Okay. We can set the duration. It defaults to 0.2. That seems pretty good, but I'm going to go and just give it a little extra pause there. 0.5. Print string will delay, and then we'll want to loop it so that way um, it resets after we leave or we're not touching it. We're going to do float minus float, and to set the health, and we're just going to be do once, so we have to leave and then come back out. So it's not going to keep killing us if we're still touching it. And um, if it's less than or equal to zero, um, if that's the condition, if that condition is true, we'll destroy the actor. And if it's not, we're going to print and um, damage. Oh, and one more thing. We need to have the health print. So we need to go that to the string. Okay. It all looks good. Now it looks like I'm missing one 
execution pin here in the set should be connected to the branch. So now let's compile and save and see if that works. Okay, let's play. And let's go into the boiling acid. And you can see I lost 75 points. If I go out and come back in, I'll lose 25 more. All right, and let's go check out our doors. All right, if I hit the door, whoa. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, I should be dead. One time, okay. Oh, no, doors are not working. All right, they are not killing me. So let's go and double check our blueprint here. Let's see if I got everything right. Base damage, 25. Ah, oh, see, you gotta check all these nodes. So here you have to check the other to the damaged actor. <laughs> That's always something. Okay, compile and save. Whew. All right, let's hit play. And let's try that again. Okay, oil, minus 25, ouch. Okay, let's go to our doors. Ow, all right. Ow again, and one more time, and I'm dead. Okay, so that worked. So I am gonna do this one more time. Uh, I have this trigger volume here, and this pain volume right there, and I'm gonna just go ahead and duplicate it. All right, so I've got pain volume causing two, and I'm just gonna go bring that over to my other acid pit. All right, it looks like it'll have to be a little bit longer. Let's scrub the Y so it goes over the whole place. And then we wanna make sure it's lined up just right with the water. So what I'm gonna do there is from perspective to right, I can just double click on it. There it is. And let's see, see it's not quite lined up with the uh, the water, so I gotta go down a little bit. There it is. All right, it's lined up nicely. And the same thing here, I'm gonna go have to go back to this acid here, plane three, let's call it acid two, and make sure that its collision is set to overlap all and generate overlap events. All right, and let's give that a try. Oh, I'm in the water and I'm drowning. Oh, <laughs> that's not really working out too good. Uh, and I'm, I'm receiving damage every time I jump in and out. Okay, so it works. I might want to put another plane down there so I don't go so deep. All right. Oh, I'm really stuck now. I'm really going to die. Okay, well, let's escape. We'll have to fix that. That's a little too. Okay, and so that's how we're going to set up damage in our game. So the next thing we're going to do from our list, oh, we're going to create the objects uh, that we're going to collect. Okay, so see you next time.